here is how to customize your Samsung phone in five minutes. Okay, I didn't actually time how long this will actually take, but the goal is five minutes. Could be longer, could be shorter, who knows? Now I've showed you guys before how I have made my personal home screen. However, that does involve using an external launcher and it's also not free. You have to pay for a couple different apps. And so I just wanted to make a video showing you how you can quickly, easily, and freely make a custom Samsung home screen, no launcher required. And so right here, I have a totally fresh Galaxy S24 Plus and it just has the default boring Samsung home screen that comes on the phone when you get it, but we can do better than that. But I guess now is the time, so let's go ahead and start that five minute timer. Here we go. Now the first thing we're gonna do is download a few different apps. So go ahead and open up the Google Play Store and the first one we're gonna download is called KWGT. And so you'll see this app called KWGT Custom Widget Maker. That's the one you're looking for. So go ahead and install that. And the next app we're gonna install is called Zwart. Now this is actually a custom icon pack and this one is like all black. This is the one that I'm gonna use for this custom home screen. But if you wanna get more creative with it, you can honestly just search for custom icon packs in the Play Store and there's tons of them that you can choose from. And then the next app I'm gonna download is called Wallpapers. This is actually just one made by Google, but if you have a different wallpaper app that you wanna use to find a custom wallpaper, you can find that, but I'm just gonna use the Google one. And then the last app we're gonna download is actually not in the Google Play Store, it's in the Galaxy Store. So go ahead and open that and search for an app called Goodlock. And essentially what Goodlock is, is it's actually an app made by Samsung that allows you to unlock some additional features on your phone. And what we're gonna use it for is to actually allow us to use our custom icon. And so now that we got all our apps downloaded, I want you to go ahead and open Good luck. And at the very top, you should see something called Theme Park. So there's a few different things in here that you can install, but Theme Park is the one that we're gonna download today. And once Theme Park is downloaded, go ahead and open it up. It's gonna ask you to allow storage permissions. So go ahead and do that. And then at the bottom right, you're gonna see a button that says icon. So go ahead and tap that and then tap create new. Then at the top of your screen, you'll see an option for icon pack. So go ahead and tap that and then choose the icon pack that you download. Then at the top right, you're gonna hit the download button, go ahead and name it something, and then hit okay. And now that the theme has been installed, you can just tap on it, tap on apply, and then it'll actually apply it to your phone. And so now you can see if I go to my home screen, all of my icons are custom. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is download a wallpaper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the wallpaper app that I downloaded and literally just scroll until I find a wallpaper that I like. I'm gonna use this uh, one that looks like little leaves or something and just go ahead and tap set wallpaper. And the last thing I'm gonna do is install a custom widget. And this is what's really gonna make the phone stand out. And so go ahead and open up the KWGT app that you installed earlier. And you're just gonna go through a quick setup process. Just hit next, next, next. And then you will have to create actually a special folder for these widgets. So just tap select folder. And then at the top right of your screen, just add a new folder. And the word custom, I believe does have to be in the name of the folder. So K-U-S-T-O-M is all I name it. So just hit okay and then use this folder. And once you're finished, just go back to your home screen and long press. And then at the bottom of your screen, tap the widgets button. And then you're just gonna scroll down until you find K-W-G-T. And then you're gonna just select one of these placeholders. Like I'll go ahead and select the three by two option, hold it down and then drag it onto your home screen. And from here, you're gonna tap on that placeholder and it'll open KWGT. And then you can just select whichever custom widget that you wanna use. And you can actually install more custom widgets into the KWGT app, but it does come with some default ones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one, IK. W003, that should work. Hit okay, hit okay, hit okay again. And then if you go back to your home screen, you'll notice that the widget is there. Although you may notice that it is a little bit small and off-centered, so if that happens to you, you can just reopen the KWGT app, and then you'll see the name of your widget that you created, tap on that, and then it'll open up the editor so that you can just change it, honestly, to really whatever you want. So I'm gonna go over to the layer tab, and I'm just gonna hit the arrows and make it bigger till it's a size that seems right. And then it's still a little off centered. So I'm gonna go back to the items tab, tap on stack group and then position. 
and then I'm gonna just move it a little bit to the left. It is also a little bit too bright for my wallpaper, so I can actually change the colors too. So I'm gonna go back and then go to the globals tab and I can change my color options. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the first color to black and then I'll probably just leave the second color and we'll see how that works. So now I'll just hit save on the top and you'll see that my custom widget is now there. And if it is still off centered, that probably means that the placeholder is off centered. So just long press on the widget and then you can just adjust the sizing of the widget. But yeah, from there, you can pretty much just move around and place your apps wherever you want. And then yeah, that's it you have a custom home screen. Now, obviously you can get a lot more creative with this with tons and tons of different looks, but this is just kind of to get you started with some ideas and a basis of what you can really do with customizing your Samsung phone. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.